Good day. Welcome back to my channel. Today's message is about uh, the three days of darkness, uh, um, prophecies that we read about in the Bible and um, other scriptures or books. This is a download that I received about two and a half weeks ago, and I was supposed to or speak about it and upload it last week, but uh, the recording didn't go well because I was recording from a different device and I was muted all the time that I was recording. So I'm just redoing it now. So in the Bible, Revelation 6 verse 12, they talk about uh, um, a plague of unnatural darkness né? as an effect of the sixth seal. According to Wikipedia, they talk about uh, advocates or people that have prophesied or heard uh, um, or had downloads of prophecies or revelations about the three days and three nights of darkness. And then we have those who, are, who have a different view of the three days of darkness. The reason I'm speaking on the three days of darkness is because the download that came to me is different from the ones that I explained on Wikipedia as well as biblically because I embodied the truth of uh, biblical prophecy because most of the prophecies and writings in different religious scriptures or books talk about me, the daughter of Zion, or about New Jerusalem and the chosen ones. So let me quickly read uh, for you what they are saying about the three days of darkness. The three days of darkness is an eschatological prophecy of future events. Eschatology concerns expectations of the end of the present age, human history or the world itself. So they say that the three days of darkness is an eschatological prophecy of future events. Eschatology concerns expectations of the end of the present age, human history or the world itself. The end of the world or end times is predicted by several world religions, which teach that negative world events will reach a climax. So this three days of darkness is uh, um, known by the Catholics to be true, as they have recorded them in the, in the Bible. The prophecy foretells three days and nights of and intense darkness over the whole world, against which, according to them, against which the only light will come from the blessed beast wax candles, and during which all the enemies of the church will perish. Now we know that we are not here to fight against the church or to bring separation between different religious groups. The truth of the whole battle and war that has been going on between earth and the galactic families is because of the nefarious imposter rulers that I call the planetary criminals that are in charge of the world right now or earth right now. The ones who have stolen the throne from the true mother of earth and have divided the throne and the rule of the regions of the earth amongst themselves, including the leaders of the earth. So it comes from the deep state, the Vatican, and then they have on the forefront people who stand in for them and fight for them. Those are the leaders, whether they are ignorant or doing it knowingly. And then we have the gatekeepers that are in the celebrity community, the so-called elites of the world, etc. So know this and understand this. We are not here to fight Christians against Catholics or Catholics against Muslim or Muslim against Buddhists, etc. It is a lie. This three days of darkness that is recorded in the Bible upholds the Catholic or the Vatican agenda, which is false. It is a lie.
now i will explain to you the reason why i say it is a lie the three days and three nights of darkness or the total number of the days of darkness is not clear and i will tell you why i believe and i know this is not about the three days of darkness that will only affect those who are not going to burn the blessed beeswax candles it will affect the whole world and everybody here on earth now the two people who are advocating for the three days and three nights of darkness and the reason why i say it is not a coincidence is the two people that have received those prophecies are namesakes of the people that were close to me one has the name or the first name of my aunt and the other one has the name of an ex-boyfriend and now the first person to whom this prophecy was uh, revealed her name is Anna Maria Taichi and uh, she is my uh, auntie's namesake and her prophecy says the following there shall come over the whole world an intense darkness lasting three days and three nights nothing can be seen and the air will be laden with pestilence which will claim mainly but not only the enemies of religion it will be impossible to use any man-made lighting during this darkness except blessed candles he who out of curiosity opens his window to look out or leaves his home will fall dead on the spot during these three days it is advised that people should according to them or according to this prophecy now people should remain in their homes pray the rosary and beg god i'm only using the word god because that's the uh, only title many religious people know so they must pray the rosary and beg god for mercy all the enemies of the church whether known or unknown will perish over the whole earth during that universal darkness with the exception of a few whom god will soon convert the air shall be infected by demons who will appear under all sorts of hideous forms now this is a prophecy i believe recorded under the authority of the catholic church and we know most i know as the oath embodiment of the truth the rulership or the ownership of this earth that the catholic church or the vatican they they always twist everything they will turn truth around to fit their agenda or to drive their narrative for the masses in this instant it is a religious issue for them it's a fight between religious beings or people and those who aren't religious and i don't think this is truly the true prophecy of uh, the original prophecy coming from anna maria so and i will back it up with my download or prophecy or revelation that i received which i believe to be true because of these two names of people that were close to me that ha- that are mentioned under the advocates and then the ones that are ha- holding a different view um of this specific prophecy or three days of darkness here on wikipedia Uh, as i said we did not come the righteous beings the chosen ones the heirs to the throne of this earth autrilensarel the comdrenosis we did not come for the masses for the religious beings or for the ignorant masses although their deeds they will still be held accountable for everything that they have done against the mother of the throne of this earth against her people and against the innocent and the righteous they will still be held accountable but we did not come for them we came for the imposters the planetary criminals that are ruling this earth at this moment 
So this is the prophecy uh, uh, from Anna Maria, the first one of darkness, uh, three days of darkness. That is only those with the blessed beast wax candles, only, the, only those will survive, which is a lie, which is not true because they had to make it a religious event, diverting people from the truth of what is coming. I will explain to you exactly why I believe and that my prophecy or my revelation or the revelation that I received holds water and that that is the truth. Now the second person who also had a, a revelation or a prophecy uh, uh, was Marie Julissa Jenny. And she was born after the first Anna Maria Taiji. Uh, she was born in 1850 and died in 1941. Known as the Breton Stigmatist, expanded upon the story of the three days of darkness. If you want to follow the, the documentation, well, then you can just go on Wikipedia and type in three days of darkness. All the information is on there. So according to Marie, Marie is also the same. The first one was Anna Maria. The second one is Marie, Marie Julie. And I said, my aunt's na name is Anna Marie. So the second one says the following. According to her, it, it will occur on a Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. All of hell would be let loose to strike at those outside their homes and those without a lit, blessed candle of pure wax. These candles would miraculously stay aflame the entire period, but not light at all in the houses of the godless. So it's all about the Vatican's agenda. And as I said in other videos before, we did not come only for the house of my mother or the house of the mother of the throne. I represent the divine all, therefore all species and all people, cultures, religions, etc. here on earth at the moment. So there is not going to be any division between the species or the religious groups or people here on earth. When the three days of darkness or the days of darkness and nights of darkness come, it will affect everyone here on earth. And the pure, what they are talking about, the pure wax, uh, bees wax candles will not save them from this event that is going to affect everyone here on earth. Now, the reason why I say it will affect everyone and that it is not just as it is depicted or explained here by the Catholic Church, Many hold the belief that when the three days of darkness, the three days of darkness will be a result of the sun, the removal of the sun or the darkening of the sun, total darkness of the sun for three days. So the, uh, there will be total darkness in the sky for three days and three nights. Now we know the sun represents the soul, the soul of the mother or the soul of of the heavens the celestial soul that's what this uh, the sun represents and in my language the the sun has a feminine form we call it Saurus the sun is feminine the moon is masculine and the stars or the star one star is also feminine now we know, we talk about, or oh, in the conscious community, we talked about as above, so below. So it says, two celestial bodies of the sky are feminine and one is masculine. So if above is represented by two feminine and masculine, the sky of the heavens uh, or the sky of the earth, then as above, so it should be below here on earth then the celestial bodies or the main bodies or the main authority here on earth is then also represented in that manner by father or the masculine and the feminine and the star which is also feminine so father mother and daughter main authority here on earth as the main authority in the skies of this earth 
because this the sky we see is not heavens it's not the heaven it is part of the earth so that means as it is above so it is below so it is the mother father and daughter rule as the main authorities here on earth and that's what we have come to tell the masses and the rulers of this earth are aware of that they know of my existence and they know the reason why i'm here the mother represents the sun sorus feminine now when you remove the main character or the main uh, um essence of the sky the sun it will be darkened when you do when they remove the main essence of the earth which is also the mother which i am the essence of and whom i represent here on earth then that darkness will come on this earth that means the removal of the mother the soul of the mother and many videos that talk about me and people in wick wicken uh, in 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 the witchcraft community or wicken community and others they know that i am also known by the name hecate which which is the cosmic soul so i embody all the souls of this earth as it is the essence of the divine mother or the eternal mother of the throne of this earth so when the soul is removed when the main soul is removed from the earth it will be darkened so that means we know your eyes are the windows to your soul so that means your eyes are going to be affected so it will be blindness not just the sun removed and then only people with candles certain candles will survive the event that will take place no it is going to be the darkening the darkening of the eyes because the soul has been the main soul of this earth has been removed from the earth that is what it represents so like i say the catholic church the vatican they have their own narrative they have their deceptive narrative concerning different uh, events that will and are still happening here on earth but like i said in one of the other videos when they come up with a counter fate because that's what they are planning they will have to play out because they are playing games with lives of people here on earth if they play out this counter fate of the true version of the darkening of the earth we will come forth we will come through with the real deal so the real deal is this the eyes of the people will be darkened they will go blind and it will affect everyone here on earth catholics will not escape the vatican no one whether they are hiding under in their caves or wherever will not because like i said we are here to restore my art restore balance restore truth restore justice righteousness etc so if events that are going to happen are only affecting some people then it is not fair and it is not just we know the main problem we are sitting with here right now on earth are these planetary criminals it is the vatican it is the buckingham palace the imposter rulers the ones who have been stealing our rule or our throne lifetime in and out and whom as i said most of the time they did not win over us it's because we felt sorry for our own that were still under the deception and our own who have betrayed us and our children that have held us back in the past but this lifetime nothing is going to hold us back this lifetime everything the fate of the earth if everybody if people here on earth and if the nefarious beings do not repent that means them their repentance means they must give back the throne to the rightful owner and the rightful heir heiress in this age of aquarius which is impossible for them on uh, up to this stage because they don't want to do that they are proving lifetime in and out and day in and out that they are not willing to give back the throne to the mother and to me as the heiress of the of the throne in this lifetime or in this age the age of aquarius because i am the age of aquarius as well so 
the three days of darkness, or we don't know whether even these three days have been uh, 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 twisted. It may be three, it may be more than that, we don't know. I don't know the exact number of days the darkness will ensue here uh, 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 or be on this earth. We don't know, I don't know. I only received this revelation that as the sun has been removed, then the sights of the people, because the sun in the light you see in the light. But the reason why this will happen also is because the people who know the truth most of all, uh, most of the time the people who know the truth, they don't want to speak of. They see the truth. They see the lie. And they they know the truth, but they do not want to speak up. They do not want to speak up for the truth. That's why they will be affected through blindness, the plague of blindness, because they've turned a blind eye to the truth, to the suffering of the mother, to the suffering and tormenting and persecution of the mother and her children and her true rulers of this earth. So that's the plague of blindness. The three days, what they call three days of darkness and three nights of darkness. Uh, and they have uh, already cloned the sun, but that is not going to work. The sun can be out, but then all the eyes will go blind because I tell you, our words will be fulfilled. The divine will will be fulfilled. So they can have their cloned sun, sun as much as they want. But that is not going to save them because all eyes will go blind because that is now the plague of blindness. We know about different plagues that struck uh, uh, e uh, so-called Egypt, right? They always vilify Egypt. Another event we know about is the three hours of darkness when Christ was crucified, the crucifixion darkness, three hours now we have three hours of darkness and then we have three days and three nights of darkness. Three, number three. And you know I am a triple goddess. I am the essence of the three of the heaven, earth and the underworld. So it is just right that the divine reveals the correct, the truth to me. Even when they hid it from the masses and even if they have twisted the truth and only gave the version that they want to promote as a war between the church, the believer, and the non-believer. Because our war is not, or our battle is not against flesh and blood. It's not against the normal beings, the ignorant, the fools, that don't want to learn anything. Our battle is not against them. Although they will still be responsible for everything that they have done here in their ignorance, our battle is against those in authorities in high places. Those of the, the ones that are called the synagogue of Satan, they have those who have put themselves in positions of rulership, positions that, are ne that were never theirs from the beginning. Those are the ones whom we are against and we are coming for and that, uh, for whom we have come for to avenge ourselves. And that is a, a fact, it is the truth and that is the fate that humanity is and will be under this lifetime. If they don't repent, they will be destroyed with their masters because their masters already know that time is over. They have overplayed their hand already. So no, this three days, these three days of darkness and nights of darkness is not just about the church. It's about everybody here on earth. And it's just good that last time I spoke, uh, when I was uh, recording, I didn't have the, 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 the word plague of darkness it just came today now so that means it is the truth it is just confirming what was revealed to me as the triple god goddess and as the queen or the heiress and the queen of the throne of this earth according to marie the the french lady it will be on three days Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. And you know most when they give you days like that. You know when events like that, supernatural events happen, it will happen on a Thursday, Monday, or third. No, they will never tell you the time or the day, not even the hour. But you can see here the fact that they mentioned the days, that it is their agenda. So just to deceive and put the masses under an illusion, they put out the dates here. That is the Vatican, the one that controls what goes out to the masses. 
and what they want them to receive or read or believe the false lies and false hopes that they are giving them. So now the other person who uh, who has a different view of this, he is uh, a 20th century saint and stigmatist, Patre, Patre Pio, the Catholic people will know him. Now the name Pio, names of an ex-boyfriend. And he was a Catholic, devoted Catholic. So this cannot be a coincidence that this download came to me. Patre Pio says, uh, that's not under controversy. Some set a vacantist hope that a true Pope will be miraculously designated by an apparition of St. Peter and St. Paul. This tangential belief assumes that the pontiffs in those times of the church will be, in fact, anti-popes. There is also controversy over whether the 20th century saint and stigmatist Petra Pio endorsed and taught on the future three days of darkness as the authenticity of the alleged words of Saint Pio are disputed. You can read about the whole story there on Wikipedia. So we have these three days and three nights of darkness. Know that this is going to be a plague of blindness that will strike all beings here on earth because of the removal of the mother, the sole mother of the earth, or of the throne of the earth, as the cosmic soul of all living beings here on earth. So it has nothing to do with candles that will save only a specific group of people, because we are here to restore Mother Kai, Mother Earth, back to her rightful owners, to her rightful heirs, to her rightful uh, um, rulers, and our fight is against the Vatican. It is against the Buckingham Palace, the clones that are ruling in the name of the bloodlines of the mother of the throne of earth because they have stolen the throne from her years ago through different uh, um, actions, through rape of her daughters, through her raping her, also raped the mother, the English and the German. That's how the human, the white rulers came into this world. Remember this, our fight is not against the normal beings, although they will be responsible and be held accountable for their own actions of lawlessness and not repenting. So the repentance of these beings, the Vatican and all those in high authorities, they have to give back everything that belongs to us, back to us, back to the mother and back to me, because I am the authority. All authority has been given to me in heaven, on earth, and in hell. Because I go and I represent three freedoms of our existence. So there is none, not even my child, is going to be the next, the heir of the throne. No, I explained to you already before. This throne belongs to the mother and only her three daughters and the three kings or the chosen man from our galactic alliance, our divine alliance. That's how it works. The throne doesn't belong to children. It will never belong to children of our wombs. It goes from one daughter to the next, to the next, and back to the mother, and so forth, because we are immortal. So these beings have trespassed against us. They have sinned against us, and they refuse to re repent. So this is one of the three days of blindness or the number of days are not known to me yet. Because of these liars, we know everything they twist. You don't know whether the three days are the, is the correct uh, number that the ladies received originally from the divine. So, But know that there will be a plague of dark, uh, darkness. Oh, sorry, it will be a plague of blindness and not just the sun be removed and there's going to be uh, um, only few surviving because we are here to bring back harmony, balance, 
equality, righteousness and justice. And we can only do it once we have removed these beings, the imposters, the criminals from our earth. So this is my message. So be ready, warn each other. Prepare yourself for this event for we do not know when this will be. So like I said, the moment they start giving you dates already, you know they are coming up with a counterfeit. And that will also not work because we will come through with the real deal. So warn each other, share the message, and know that you as a normal human being, you must just work on your rights, righteousness or right standing with other beings and right standing with the throne of this earth, which unfortunately for some, is Audrey and Zeralda come the Ringoses, whether you like it or not, whether you believe it or not. If you are not in right standing with the throne and the owner of the throne, then you have to follow your masters out of this plane by destruction, or if there is ever a chance for them to leave this plane or our earth, then you can go with them to the so-called heaven that they want, that they are sending religious people so that us who belong to this earth and to whom this earth belong can stay here on earth. Everybody else who doesn't belong to this earth and who think they don't belong to this earth, they are welcome to leave this earth. But to make people, ourselves and our presence known and our will, some of the plagues that will happen in the last days will take effect especially when they remove, when they kill me. And that will happen. If that happens, it will happen. I'm ready for that. I told you already. Death is one. It's just one uh, uh, um, transitioning to finish what I have come here for. Because for I will not back down. I will not stop until I have fulfilled the will, the oath of the heavens and the earth. And I will talk about the oath and or the relationship or the covenant between the heavens and the earth in one of my uh, videos. Next videos when I talk about the hand of God or the yard in astrology or the hand of Hamsa or the hand of Fatima. So I'll talk about the covenant between the heaven and the earth, what that truly is and what that represents. Because all this, uh, in, uh, all this information of, out about the hand of God or hand of Fatima or uh, uh, the yard in astrology, all those are just lies and lies and lies. So yeah, thank you for listening. Hopefully go out and, and, and get ready and we, uh, warn each other. Share and warn each other. Because the plagues that are coming or the difficult times that are coming, mortal beings will not survive. Normal humans, you will not survive. I did not come to condemn you. I came to save you, but if you do not want to accept salvation, if you do not want to accept our salvation, our way of saving you, first through the gift of repentance, because it's a gift. When we are asking you to repent, it's a gift. We are giving you a chance to do things right, but many are refusing because they grew up with Autrilan because they dated Audreyland, because they sit in the same class with Audreyland, because they worked with Audreyland, and because they see her every day, so they do not believe that what she says and whom she is is truly whom and what she is. But they will find out in a blink of an eye. They will find out, and that is just around the corner.